When I was 16 years old, I really didn't have that much guidance. And that's not so much because my parents weren't there for me or my teachers or anything like that. It's more so that they didn't really grow up in the generation that I grew up in. Okay, we as a generation have access to resources that they did not have access to. Okay, the internet allows us to know anything that we want to know. Okay, as long as we know how to use a search engine like Google, we can find the answers to basically anything. They did not have access to that. I would almost go as far as to say that we are the first generation that knows more than our parents do. And I know that's a very bold, provocative claim. Parents are not going to want to hear that. Okay, if your parents are listening to this, they probably are judging me right now. But I think it's true. Matter of fact, I know it's true. Because like I said, we have access to resources that they did not have access to. In the past, if you know our parents wanted to learn about business, they either had to know somebody who was into business or they had to go to the public library and read books about it. We can watch videos, okay? We can you know, look up blogs. We can learn these things within days as opposed to months or years. This is why you see so many young entrepreneurs these days who are able to work for themselves. I'm 21 and I work for myself and I really only started, you know, two years ago. And, you know, I'm not saying that to brag or anything. I'm saying that to say that anybody can be in that position with the right knowledge. Now, if you're watching this video, the chances are you're either, you know, a teenager and you want that information. You want the knowledge to be able to do what I do or even more than what I do because I could be in a much better spot than I'm in right now had I followed this advice or, you know, you're maybe older and you want to add your own input. And, you know, if you are older and you have more advice to share for the youth, feel free to drop that in the comment section. I want to put teenagers on as much game as possible. Okay, this is one of my favorite things about YouTube. I love helping the youth. I love helping people who are younger than me because I want them to be better than me. So with that being said, the first thing that you can do as a 16 year old or as a teenager in general, but mostly as a 16 year old, is to save your money okay at 16 in most states at least you're able to get a job you can get a job now so i would advise you to start working and save your money up save your money you don't have to save all of it okay you're 16 it's okay to go out and you know do things with your friends go to the movies go out to eat it's okay to do things like that but put away 50 percent of what you make you may not understand it right now okay when i was 16 I didn't save any money at all. Didn't know what a savings account was. And I really regret that. I'm not gonna lie, I regret it. Okay, I know it's hard to see the big picture right now, but I promise you, okay, as a 21 year old, if I could go back and tell 16 year old Jordan anything, I would tell him to save his money. Because if you start saving right now, okay, you're 16 years old, you're working, you're saving your money. You know, I don't know how much you'll make, it depends on what state you live in, or you know what country you live in. But if you save 50% of your money and you work throughout the rest of high school, when you graduate, you're gonna be in a good position to use that money for whatever you wanna use it for. So for example, if you decide that you wanna be a YouTuber, you won't have to go and get another job to be able to buy equipment because you have the money saved up. Or let's say you wanna you know trade stocks or drop ship, you'll have money saved up to start these things and you can go all in. You won't have to work and you know balance work and school and doing whatever hustle you're trying to do if you're trying to make more money and work for yourself. Okay, so having that money in place will help a lot. Take that money, 50%, put it in a savings account. Okay, if you're already into investment and things like that, then you can continue doing that. But for the average 16 year old, I would advise you to just save your money and you know once you graduate high school then you start looking more at investing and using your real money to invest now with that being said the next thing that you should do as a 16 year old is begin the process of self-education to anyone who's in high school right now i'm sure that there's been moments where you ask yourself when am i ever going to use this information when am i ever going to need to know about this honestly a lot of times you won't okay most of the things that i learned in school I do not use that information. I'm not gonna say that it's completely irrelevant, but some of it is, okay? Honestly, the school system is very inefficient in that way. So it's very important for you to start educating yourself because there's certain things that schools do not teach you. For example, how to start a YouTube channel, how to make money online. Schools do not teach you that because a lot of times teachers don't know these things. You know, they're teachers, they went to school, they're older than you, they didn't have access to the resources that we have. 
okay so they don't understand drop shipping they don't understand amazon fba so even if you don't start trying these things yet you know because you're saving your money start educating yourself about these things sometimes you might learn something and you don't necessarily know when you're going to use it until a few years later now like i said when it comes to school most of those things i never ended up using anyways but there are some things that i learned on my own time for example affiliate marketing that you know i ended up using later on down the line even if i didn't use that knowledge immediately you know i didn't know that i was going to be doing youtube and that affiliate marketing would be a part of that you know an extra stream of income mailbox money money that i make when i'm asleep okay so start educating yourself get curious about things you know when you see somebody that's making a lot of money at a young age or they're working for themselves ask yourself how are they making this much money how are they living this type of lifestyle at that age what did they do to accomplish that and start learning from them okay start learning about their process and seeing what type of education they gave themselves you don't have to commit to any one thing right now but just start learning about different things learn about making money online okay i promise you that knowledge is gonna come in handy when you graduate and then you have all this money stacked up. And then from there, you know, you can take all of that time and really invest that money into whatever you wanna invest it into to make you more money or to gain more experience. Now, the next thing that I wanna say for anybody who's in high school is that you do not need to have any direction right now. You don't need to have direction. You don't need to have your purpose figured out. Okay, you're really not supposed to have the rest of your life figured out. If you're 16 years old and you know what you're going to be doing until you're 65 or 70, that's kind of depressing in my opinion. It's kind of depressing because when you have your life figured out, that leaves no room for potential. Okay, you have no potential beyond what you can already see. The beautiful thing about uncertainty is that it allows for unlimited potential. Okay, so embrace the uncertainty and just learn about different things. Okay, take some time to learn about different things. You know, learn the concepts. What is drop shipping? What is e-commerce? What is YouTube? Like, how do you use these things to make money? Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay, like learn, take the time to learn. It doesn't take that much time, believe it or not. The next tip for anybody who is 16 years old, don't worry about being popular. Okay, being popular is completely irrelevant. I promise you. Okay, unless you're using that popularity to earn money in some way. Okay, for example, social media popularity. Popularity in school, having clout, being known around school, that doesn't really get you anywhere. Okay, that doesn't get you anywhere in the real world. Because I'm going to tell you something right now that I've said a lot in the past, but I think it's hard to really understand this until you're out of high school. But when you walk out of those doors for the last time, you're probably never going to see like 99% of those people ever again. Okay, the chances are once you leave high school, you're not going to see your peers anymore. Okay, aside from your immediate friend group. So, you know, stop thinking about what others think about you. Stop thinking about their opinions. Okay, whatever people think about you, that's none of your business. It's none of your business, honestly. Because when you get out of high school, you're not going to see them anymore anyways. So, treat it like a temporary experience. Be the main character. Live your own life. Now, right along with that is avoid drama at all costs. Stop investing yourself into other people's business. Learn the art of minding your own business. Okay, when you mind your own business, that's how you make money. Okay, that's how you be successful. And that's how you keep peace of mind. If you're constantly invested in what other people are doing, you're not going to get very far in life because you're not tending to your own garden. You're looking at theirs. Okay, and meanwhile, your flowers are dying. You have to take care of what you have going on. You know, take some time to really work on yourself, your self-education, and just focus on improving yourself in every way that you possibly can. Going to the gym, meditating, watching Jordan Green videos. Do whatever you can do to level up in life in every conceivable way. Now, the last thing that I want to say is balance is key. Okay, if you're in high school, if you're a teenager, balance is key. I understand that some of you are on your grind, you know, you want to make money, maybe you've already started your self-education process, you're working on yourself, you know, trying to build yourself up spiritually, you know, mentally, emotionally, all of that, and that's good, you know, that is good. Like I said, you should focus on yourself, but you should also balance that with having a healthy social life with people who you genuinely have a connection with. You know, I think one of the things that I personally took for granted 
was being able to get all of my friends in the same place at the same time. When you get out of high school, that doesn't really happen anymore because everyone has their own thing going on, or at least hopefully they have their own thing going on. If they don't, then maybe you need to reevaluate your circle. But you know, for me personally, I haven't been able to get all of my friends in the same place for years now. And I've kind of accepted that that's just what life is like now because we're all grown. Okay, when you're grown men, everyone has their own thing going on. Some people are starting their families. You know, some people are going off to college, starting their own businesses, working, whatever they're doing. You know, people's schedules won't always line up. But in high school, generally speaking, everyone is on the same schedule. So take some time to really enjoy those times with your friends that you can just hang out all together. You know, things that you probably take for granted, but one day, you know, you and your friends are all going to hang out for the last time. And you won't even know it.